like a vacation for me. I live in Vegas, and we have a terrorism problem in Vegas. I'm not sure you guys are aware of this, but our terrorism problem is uh, young, drunk, white women. They terrorize my fucking city because they do this thing where you don't see them. You hear them. They sound like llamas that escaped the zoo. That's my favorite part, right? If you go to Vegas after 7 p.m., go outside and you'll hear this in the middle of the night. You'll just hear
Yeah, like yeah, like one gonna go to Trader Joe's, right, and flip out because someone has more items in the ten item or less line than they're supposed to have. Oh, it's so sexy. It's better than Viagra. I can hang wet towels on my shit. I'm telling you. I want someone who's gonna like. One, two, three, four, five, six, eleven, eleven items. It doesn't say the eleven item or less line. No, 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 no. You always want to come to this store. I always tell you that this store is terrible. They have no self checkouts. Okay. We should go to one down the street. But you have no listening. You always insist we come here. You think the prices are better, but they're not. And now we're stuck on this dumb bitch that can't fucking count. <laughs> And I'd be like, oh my god, please stop it, we're in public, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> and she'd be like, why, am I embarrassing you now? Are you embarrassed of me? Like, no, I'm hard as fuck about to tear through my jeans, the last lady, alright? <laughs> oh, clean up my house, Spiro, let me tell you. <laughs> I am currently dated, I'm, per I'm dating a woman from San Francisco, so politics, the debate, ooh, she went crazy, yeah. She went nuts. Did you hear what that asshole said? Did you hear him? He said they're eating cats. They're eating dogs! And I'm like, so what? I want to eat your pussy right now. <laughs> Quit stopping around, you're giving me a hard on, bitch. <laughs> I'll choke you to your blue, and I'll make you come till you're red. It's a bipartisan joke. I was previously married, though. I was previously married, and again, I had a type. I was married to this grumpy Italian woman. Oh my god. Yeah. They're here. They're here. But... The Italians? They're here? The Italians? They're here? Okay. They're here. Hi, Italians. Am I allowed to go to Olive Garden, or is that against the guys who feel like yeah, and it's the, I had to say this because this bitch was half Italian, and I was 100% bad from Olive Garden, and the math didn't make sense to me. <laughs> did, but I would cheat. I'm a guy, right? Got on the apps. Not ashamed to admit it. I swiped a couple times, got it from DoorDash, got it delivered. <laughs> Food. <laughs> or wolf it down, get high, mind my own business. But one day she came home, busted me, literally red-handed, all right? She was looking at me and like, Joe Pesci fucked a Furby. <laughs> Just grumpy, hot, adorable eyebrows. I'm like, what do you want? What's the matter? She goes, oh my god, really? Olive Garden? That's not authentic Italian food. I don't know why you're eating that shit. And I was like, look, Sarah, you're not authentic Italian. And I eat you every single day. Never had an issue before, right? Eating pussy gets you out of any problem. You know this, sir. <laughs> yeah, if you're good at it. Damn right. I throw that clip like pasta for jewel, let me tell you. And then she puts that mood on my eye like a big pizza pie. That's a boy. You guys can probably tell I'm gonna rev it up a notch. So be ready, you guys. A good Friday late show. We're gonna talk about some shit, and I want you all to be pussies because if you do, I will call you the fuck out. All right? Did you tell everything to your wife? Yes, you did. No. <laughs> did you ever play a sport? Did you ever tell her what happens in those locker rooms? Exactly. <laughs> Guys, never tell your significant other what happens in the locker rooms. Not because you love them, because they do, will not understand what the fuck we do in there. Guys, we get very perverted, we turn into like 12 year olds. A lot of kick play, a lot of weird shit going on there. I played hockey, I played hockey. We had a guy on our team, his nickname was Teapot because he was short and stout. It was a great nickname, okay? He had a little handle and a little spot. Please. Fantastic. And every time Teapot had a bad game, we would like politely hate him. We would make him be the sunflower for us. If you guys aren't familiar, the sunflower is you stick your penis head into the shaft of your penis and you let it slowly burn out. <laughs> like a beautiful sunflower. Right? We would even sing songs. We like, the sunflower comes out tomorrow. It's about a dollar that tomorrow. 
Yeah, we're dead serious. Imagine 25 pound naked dudes at eye level being like, oh shit! Come on! <laughs> and I know there's a, like a few black people in here, a couple Latinos looking at me being like, yo, that's some white people shit. For real. <laughs> For real. A thousand percent. Because I'm pretty sure black guys call it kiss from a rose. Like, you're not with the homegirls, shoving your lips inside, letting it swivel in and out, <laughs> calling it something dumb like the saloon door, right? <laughs> and you're definitely not at a high level making sound effects like... <laughs> I love telling that joke for two reasons. One, I hear a few, oh my god, I see some horrified faces. My second favorite reason is because I know there's a few couples in here, that are gonna try that shit tonight. For real. Sure, show her the sunflower, put her cowboy hat on, gallop into town, kick those saloon doors in. This pussy ain't big enough for the both of us. We're revving it up. I was previously married, I'm not anymore. I actually lost my wife a few years ago. Yeah, I appreciate that. Bitch wandering in Target, can't find her since. <laughs> no, she's my soulmate. Yeah, no, it's real. It's a thousand percent. She passed away a few years ago. And I get it. It's odd because a widower being so young, everyone has that same reaction. But I have millennial friends, and they don't know other widowers, so they don't know how to talk to me. And it ends up making it way more uncomfortable than it needs to be. Especially now, because now I'm just having fun with it. I'm in my fucking fun era. I don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> like, my friend Brian, he's a good looking dude. He's on the apps. I was trying to get on the apps. I thought he would give me single guy advice, like, go use that dick. <laughs> Fuck. Just do whatever you want to do. You deserve it. He didn't give me any of that advice. Instead, he goes, stay off of it. Stay off of all of it. It's terrible, because what happens is you go on dates with these girls, you have a great time, you text them next day, they end up ghosting you, and I don't think you can handle that. And I'm like, Brian, I am the expert at being ghosted. Thank you. <laughs> oh. You guys are sorry about haunted apartment. Shut the fuck up. Don't mull. drunk, pick up the phone and text my ex. I gotta pull the Ouija board off the shelf. <laughs> And he shut the movie off. And he didn't put anything else on for 16 minutes. I timed it just staring at a blank screen. Look, I know why he did it. Some of you guys might do the same thing. I understand where he's coming from. But I'm going to ask him now why he did it. Just for fun. Hey, what's going on, man? Is the TV broken? I was fun. I want to sit down. That looked like fun. Put back on. Do you have a work call? Looks at me, he's like, man, um, no. Uh, I saw that the main character's wife died, and then I looked over at you and I didn't know what you were gonna do. And I was like, Derek, we're watching John Wick. <laughs> there are five other movies. If anyone should see the end of this, it should be me. What were you worried about, that I was going to become an assassin and murder Russian terrorists? I think the world needs that right now, all right? <laughs> You know what's hard about being a millennial widower? The hardest thing? 
as I go on Amazon Prime and I get suggested buys for me. Yeah, so now I get three packs of urns <laughs> for 50% off. <laughs> I got shirts. I've got my wife's ashes. Am I lying? Come find out. <laughs> common question I get a lot. Common question I get a lot is, do you want to get married again? No, I don't. And one time I had somebody follow up. They were like, Why? Why not? Are you afraid that if you get married again, there's a chance you might get hurt again? That's not the reason. I'm terrified, but for a very specific reason. I'm worried because if you have one dead wife, you get sympathy. If you have a second dead wife, you get investigated for real. I want a comedy special, not a Dateline special. Are you crazy? I can even see the opening narration. I can hear it in my ears. You're like, if you were as innocent as he claims he is, then why did he buy the three pack of urns off of Amazon? <laughs> From jokes to justice. <laughs> Look guys, death, it happens to all of us. We all go through it. We laugh through it. That's how we get better. Sometimes you need the bad in life to see the good and appreciate the beautiful. Y'all are beautiful tonight. Enjoy your headliner. I miss you. Thank you.